All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting over here in the Freedom office. And uh, what we're doing in this video is talking about the Memorial 3-Gun event, which was held just this last weekend. And let me explain to you guys, if you're not familiar with Memorial 3-Gun, it is uh, put together uh, to help raise money for 10 individuals who uh, are no longer with us, uh, who are also as part of the uh, special operations community. So it was a really big pleasure uh, and an honor to uh, participate in this thing. Uh, there was about, oh my gosh, I guess about 270 something shooters. Uh, in my class, I was shooting spec, spec ops, tech ops, sorry, <laughs> tech ops. And uh, that's with a regular scope, typically like the rifle you see behind me, open sights on the pistol and shotgun. You've got open class, which you have red dots, scopes, all kinds of crazy stuff going on. But uh, in any case, in my class, it was like 177 something. And I ended up placing uh, 108th, uh, which is kind of cool because one of my good friends is your six covered. Uh, I did, my first day was not do good. The second day I was kicking ass and taking names. The third day I had a bad run and I was with the war with the long target. Uh, but I thought I had him. And on the first, after the first day, he and I were separated by only two places. So I was 109th, he was 107th, and then on the final day, I stay up, I bumped up to 108, and I think he finished like 103 or something like that. But congratulations to Rick, and we'll do some uh, really cool stuff here in a couple weeks or this week, doing a split screen showing uh, some of my best stages versus some of his worst stages, because that's the way it happens. But in any case, I wanted to give you guys a quick run through. There were 10 stages in three days. We had four stages on the first day, four stages on the second day, and then two stages on Sunday. Uh, again, this was a lot of fun. We got to shoot in some really unique and really cool stages that I felt like were just way above the the, uh, the standard three-gun event. It wasn't a national level where you had to basically be a, a rocket scientist to figure out the stages, but they were very challenging. So what we're going to do in this video, if you're still with me, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of these stages. Now, here's the thing. Be nice in your comments because I haven't shot a three gun in a very long time. I think since maybe last December. Uh, Carolina three gun up there. A lot of these shooters are participants up there as well. So it was kind of cool to see some old familiar faces. But it's always funny because you feel like when you're running a stage that you're hauling ass. Especially on the, on the shotgun stage. You're like, ja, 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 ja. When you look at the video and it's just like, oh my god, I'm slow as a slug. So anyway, the first stage of our... Uh, deal was stage two of the event it was a jungle run so uh all shotgun let's watch it here we go stand by shoot right stand by uh. <clears throat> <laughs> Where's that fucking thing at? It's over there. Go for three, come up here. Go for two. Done, low, so clear. What? <laughs> Time. Nine zero nine two. All right, so that was a lot of fun, man. If you guys hear some dogs in the background, I've got taking care of some neighbors' dogs, and my dogs love 
wrestling with them and beating them up. So the third stage, stage three, our second stage of the day, was a complete and total disaster. And I want to tell you guys something. Uh, I'm going to preface this whole thing. Callaway Ballistics, you guys came to the rescue, believe it or not, man, because I don't know what happened to my powder drop, but something happened. Uh, I've ordered a uh, bullet puller, uh, uh, what do you call it, call it, so I can go ahead and pull those bullets and see what the hell happened. It had to be in the powder drop because in this next stage, the rifle stage, the rifle portion of it went like it was supposed to. One for one on a plate rack and in the shotgun, no problem. And then all hell broke loose where I literally had to rack the slide every time. We still finished under time on that, which, but unfortunately what happened was, uh, you guys will watch it. Rick's commentary was absolutely awesome. Here we go. Stand by. All right, let's do this. All right, shoot ready. Uh, stand by. Keep going, buddy. One more. Over here. <laughs> he did all that without timing out. Fuck that yeah. Was, uh, that was definitely the hardest. Yeah, thing. baby. <laughs> what the? Well, I never seen a bolt action pistol before. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Did you reload? Yeah. <laughs> So there's the frustrating part, but the, the bad part is that I'm sitting there wondering, oh my God, what am I going to do? So dumped all the reloads. I fortunately brought about 300 rounds of a Callaway Ballistic, 115 grain, uh, and they, they, they performed like they were supposed to. On this next stage, we're shooting long from a turret inside of a Jeep Cherokee, I think it is, or even a Ford Explorer. I'm not sure. But there are some shotgun rifle portions of this. Did pretty good. Uh, I think I may have cleaned this one. I'm not sure. but Or I had a uh, one miss or something like that. But this was a fun stage. Uh, we were shooting out to 500 yards or something like that. Uh, we cleared that and we had a good time on this one. Here we go. Stand by. Are you ready? Bye. We're still away. We still have a
All right. Well, that concludes, uh, I think, our first day. Wait a minute. Yeah. First day, because on the next stage, I was first up. Totally screwed that one up. Had some failure to engages. Uh, that stage didn't do very good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump over to the next morning. And this stage I did pretty good on. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Shotgun was a lot of fun. I, I, You know what? I think I'm getting better at shotgun than I've ever been. But in any case, we were shooting out to 540 yards on this one. Uh, just a blast. The ROs, everybody that was participating in this thing, big, huge thank to the ROs. So here we go. Stand by. You're good, man. Whatever you need to be. Don't worry about me. <laughs> All right. you are... <laughs> now, I think that was one of my more fun stages, but I'll tell you this. On this next stage, we had to start off in a van in the driver's seat and go back to the rear, pick the rifle up, charge it. Uh, there were targets out three or 400 yards, can't quite remember, but I couldn't, for the life of me, hit the target that was at like 130 yards. It was a popper about this big, it's half hidden in the grass. You're shooting off a metal floor. Uh, sure as hell ain't no X-ring. So in any case, uh, we rocked out with the shotgun, the pistol, and everything else. I think, I'm not sure if I used the pistol on this. I just went straight to the shotgun. I think I just went straight to the shotgun. Here we go. Stand by. Water's for brushing your teeth and taking a shower, period. That's right. He doesn't drink. Water diet. Yeah, whatever water's in diet. No, no, I do drink water. I had a couple yesterday. I can't have water.
And guys, get your ass over to History 6 Covered and subscribe. <laughs> that was a fun stage, but I will tell you this. This upcoming one is like a jungle run, except for rifle, pistol, and shotgun. And again, like I said, man, you just you feel like you're hauling ass, and then you look at the video, and you're like, oh, my God, pond water in the wintertime? Are you kidding me? Uh, Jimmy was the RO on this thing. I was messing with him the whole day, and uh, he was a hardworking individual. But we had a lot of fun, a lot of targets. Uh, watch till the end because I'm going to tell you something. We kicked ass and took name on the poppers at the end with the flyers. And uh, this was by far one of my fun at best stages. I love it. And here we go. Stand by. Are you ready? Stand by. Done. That was a blast, man. Going through the woods like that, but like I said, man, you think you're just Mr. Joe Schmo going up there and blah, 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 but then you look at the video and you're like, oh my gosh. All right, this next stage was a lot of fun. Pat, the RO, we uh, go back with him over at Carolina 3-Gun. Uh, he was very helpful. Uh, what we're doing is we're shooting from a fuselage, a UH-1 Iroquois. And on this one, I think we're shooting out to 320. But there were some certain targets that were out there at distance. Jumping out of the helicopter, shooting close targets, transitioning the pistol. We had to pull a body sled and then go into shotgun at the end. And you'll see I had some uh, snafus at the end. I uh, forgot about the two large bird pigeon clays right in front of me. I had to go back and engage those. Thanks for Pat for just kind of like going, are you sure you're done? When they say that, just go on back. So here we go. Stand by.
<laughs> Not the top, okay. All right, so that concluded the second day. At that point, I was pretty sure I had rake, but unfortunately, we were only like two spots apart, and that included my screw-ups the day before. Day three, the first stage, we're shooting from a DC-9 out to, I don't know, 280, something like that. It was just something stupid. My only problem is I was fully magnified and I couldn't tell. I kept engaging the same target over and over again because they were so close together. They were too out, too close. We had a plate rack. You're not going to be able to see a whole lot of things, but I'm going to show you the inside of the aircraft and you will see some things. We started off with a shotgun, rifle, and then, no, shotgun, pistol, and a rifle. It was a lot of fun. Stand by. First. I'm hit. Already engaged. All right. Shit. I'm losing count. Hey! Hit! Already engaged. Going right. Engaged. Already engaged? Yes, sir. Already engaged. I just love the shit out of this. If you are finished, unload and show clear. That's the one that right was clear. clear. Huh? Did I engage back, all of them? Back yep. left, you, in, you engaged them all. Back left was the one that you were searching for the hit yeah. on. All right, so. I've got one. Now i got to review. Hold on. Ah. It was good shooting, but like you'd hit them, and then like you kept one, them all back. One, six, eight, four, two. Hey, do I get extra credit for multiple hits? Yeah. No. What? <laughs> Come on. All right, so what happens when you go to war on a target? It would have been easier and less penalty if I'd have just said moving, pang, moving, pang, moving, bang, bang, bang. All right, so anyway, what I did was I actually timed out, and that's what killed my competition with Rick, and he took me by surprise. All right, 
Moving on, the final stage I actually had a reshoot on this thing. The first stage, we ran the uh, shotgun portion clean. But unfortunately, when I jumped into a vehicle, because you have to shoot from a moving vehicle, it's a Jeep Cherokee, uh, my hat got caught and I had it on backwards and it just pulled my safety glasses, hearing protection off. And the RO sold that I was trying to get those back on, but he was like, stop, and allowed for a reshoot. And this was a lot of fun. Ready. Stand by. Black bag. We get a reshoot. Woo! Pistol, shotgun, or shotgun, pistol, rifle, hit uh, static targets in a moving position. I went ahead, there was a steel target way out, and I went ahead and started engaging that one while we were on the move. Most people waited, hit that guy, and then there was a spinner at 85 yards. Now, for you guys, just to let you know, spinners uh, with a rifle out the distance. You want to engage those things with uh, 77 grain. So in any case, here we go. It's different. We've never, right. I've never shot one. Are you ready? Stand by. Rock out. I was like, fuck, we'll keep shooting that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm on All right. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> All right, so that was a lot of fun. But I, I will tell you this. Um, it's not about the shooting. It's not about anything other than uh, memorializing. If you guys see the shirt, memorializing those individuals that we were celebrating their lives. And remembering those. At the beginning of each one of the matches, they read a story. We said a smallest prayer. 
and then we went to shooting, but the, it was such an honor. And it is one of those things that it is going to be one of those deals. I will participate in this in every year that I possibly can. So with that, guys, uh, I know this was a long video. Uh, I've been busting my ass at the real job as of late. And uh, hopefully I can uh, get back into shooting some serious videos in the upcoming weeks. We're going to do some tabletop reviews uh out in the freedom shack which would be a lot of fun and then we're going to get that call it and we're going to find out what went wrong with those uh pistol rounds with that being said i hope you liked the video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already done so support red white and blue god bless america god bless his men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms freedom is not free i'm kbd32 special thanks to all the people who participate and put that thing together it's kb32 i'm out bam